On the greatest stage of basketball, the NBA Finals has several iconic moments of success, failure, glory, and greatness. The Finals is the most important stage in basketball. Today in this video, you'll see the best NBA Finals in recent years. Over the past few years, we've seen super teams, one-year wonders, and incredible moments that decided the championship games. Today's video will bring those moments back to light, and during the past 20 years, only nine different teams have won championships. Here are the most memorable matchups. Number 8. Heat vs. Mavericks in 2006 The Heat beat the Mavericks in six games to win the NBA championship, becoming the third team to win a championship despite falling 0-2 in the series. The Miami Heat's Dwayne Wade was selected most valuable player. Two teams who had never won an NBA championship squared off in the NBA Finals since 1978, the last time that had ever happened. As a third-year guard in the Miami Heat's playoff series against the Dallas Mavericks, D. Wade placed the team on his back. Game 3 saw him lead the team to a 13-point comeback, and in overtime in Game 5, he sank the game-winning free throws to seal the victory. As a result of Wade's MVP performance in the NBA Finals, he finished with an average of 34.7 points per game. After Jason Terry missed a last-second three-pointer that would have forced overtime in Game 6, the series ended spectacularly. As a result, the Miami Heat won their first title. Number 7. Warriors vs. Cleveland Cavaliers in 2014-2015 It's the first time a team has won a championship without having any players with previous Finals experience on its roster since the Chicago Bulls in the 1990-91 season. This was done in six games, 4-2, by defeating the Eastern Conference champion Cleveland Cavaliers to capture the team's fourth championship. In addition, the Warriors had not won a championship in almost four decades. LeBron James was the best player for the Cavs, while Steph Curry was for the Warriors. LeBron James averaged 35.8 points, 13.3 rebounds, and 8.8 .8 assists for the series, although he shot 39.8%. Steph Curry averaged 26 points, 5.2 rebounds, and 6.3 assists for the series, although he shot 44.3%. This team is responsible for the Warriors' incredible five-year run. The basketball world was thrilled by the three-point shooting skills of Klay Thompson and Steph Curry. Draymond Green was the new bad guy in basketball, and he's generating headlines around the world. Three-point shooting in basketball has never been more popular than when this team was in charge. Steve Kerr guided the team to a 67-15 record and a showdown in the finals against the opponent LeBron James, who hoped to win a championship in Cleveland but lost his co-stars Kyrie Irving in Game 1 of the finals and Kevin Love in the playoffs due to an injury. Number 6. Celtics vs. Lakers in 2008 Once in a while, win-now moves pay off exactly as planned. That's the story of the 2007-2008 Boston Celtics. In the offseason, they acquired Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen in trades with the Minnesota Timberwolves and Seattle Supersonics, respectively. They linked up with Paul Pierce, giving the Celtics hope of forgetting the second worst year in franchise history. Boston won just 24 games during the previous season. Led by this big three and Rajon Rondo, the Celtics went 66-16 and defeated the LA Lakers in the finals. Number 5. Mavericks vs. Heat in 2011 The Western Conference champion Dallas Mavericks won their first NBA title by defeating the Eastern Conference champion Miami Heat in six games. Tony Parker was the first European to earn Finals MVP, with Dirk Nowitzki following in his footsteps. As a repeat of the NBA Finals from a year earlier, the Heat prevailed in six games to capture their first title. In 2011, the Mavericks stopped the Heat from winning a championship during a win-now summer. As a result, they were able to retaliate a bit. In the first game, Miami prevailed 92-84, but Dirk Nowitzki's last-second layup gave Dallas the victory in the second game. The Mavericks prevailed 86-83 in a thrilling Game 4 that included many lead changes this time around. So, the Jet went on to become a fan favorite. Jason Terry led the Mavs to their first championship with Dirk Nowitzki by scoring 27 points in Game 6 and sparking a fourth-quarter rally in Game 5. Despite losing Game 3, the Dallas Mavericks have been crowned NBA Championships for the first time since the introduction of the 2-3-2 system. Previously, the Game 3 winner has won the series 11 times. Number 4. Lakers vs. Celtics in 2010 In a best-of-seven playoff series, NBA champion LA Lakers beat Eastern Conference champion Boston Celtics 4-3 to earn their second straight title. The Lakers were expected to reclaim the NBA title over the Celtics. 
It took them seven games to beat the Celtics and capture their 16th NBA title. The Lakers were on the verge of a win in Game 1 thanks to clutch shots from Kobe Bryant, Pau Gasol, and Ron Artest. After a record-breaking eight three-pointers from Ray Allen, the Celtics won Game 2. The Lakers prevailed in Game 3 thanks to Derek Fisher's game-winning 11 points in the fourth quarter. With the help of a strong effort by the team's reserves, the Celtics won Game 4. Paul Pierce led the team to a victory in Game 5 with 27 points on 57% shooting from the field. With 24 points from their bench, the LA Lakers won a pivotal Game 6 and escaped elimination. As a result of late offensive contributions from Pau Gasol and Ron Artest and strong rebounding, the Lakers recovered from a 13-point deficit to win their second straight title. Second straight MVP award for Bryant, who dominated the finals with a stellar performance. Number 3. Spurs vs Pistons in 2005 This series finally came down to that kind of nail-biter that was expected after four lopsided victories. A colossal error by Wallace, who left Big Shot Bob open from beyond the three-point line, was the result of this game. No matter how good Ginobili was, you never want to leave Big Shot Bob in a position like that. After a seven-game series, the Spurs triumphed in San Antonio, with Finals MVP Tim Duncan leading the way in Game 7 against the Pistons. That Game 5 win away from home proved to be a crucial factor in the outcome of the Pistons' Game 6 win in San Antonio. Rashid's legacy would have been different if he'd chosen a different defense on that play. The Pistons' six straight trips to the Eastern Conference Finals would be forever altered if they won another championship. In terms of championships, they would have matched the bad boys' Pistons. The Spurs dynasty would have looked very different if they hadn't won titles in 2003 and 2007 sandwiched around the 2005 championship. Hari, on the other hand, would continue to be known as Big Shot Bob due to his many big-time achievements throughout his career. Number 2. Heat vs Spurs in 2013 To earn a second straight NBA championship, the Heat were expected to reclaim the NBA title over the Spurs. As soon as the Big Three were joined, everyone saw the Heat's potential. The team completed with a 66-16 record, including 27 straight victories in the mid of the season. With the addition of Ray Allen and his additional marksmen, this team became even more formidable. His game-tying three-pointer in NBA Finals Game 6 is one of the most memorable moments in NBA history. During the Miami Heat Big Three era's third time to the finals in three years, we have one of the NBA's most iconic moments in Game 6 of the series when LeBron sank a three-pointer at 94-89, with 20.1 seconds remaining. Kawhi Leonard missed two free shots, giving Miami a chance. Chris Bosh recovered a failed three-point attempt and threw the ball to Allen, who sank a game-tying three-pointer to clinch the victory. His four overtime points led to a 103-100 victory for the Heat. The Heat never trailed in the fourth quarter of Game 7, but their advantage fluctuated between two and six points until the final seconds of a nail-biting 95-88 win to complete the back-to-back -back titles for LeBron and the Miami Heat. The NBA Finals' most valuable player was the Miami Heat star, LeBron James. He finished the series with a shooting percentage of 44.7, a scoring average of 25.3 points, 7 assists, and 10.9 rebounds. Kawhi Leonard was considered the best player of the Spurs in the final of 2013. He finished the series with a shooting percentage of 51.3, a scoring average of 14.6 points, 0.9 assists, and 11.1 rebounds. Number 1. Cleveland Cavaliers vs. Warriors, the year 2015-2016 In a rematch of the previous year's finals, the Cleveland Cavaliers defeated the reigning NBA champion Golden State Warriors to even out the finals rivalry 1-1. Despite losing the first two games against the Celtics and being down 3-1 against the Warriors, the Cavaliers always found a way to come back and win the series, especially when facing elimination. Game 5, LeBron James and Kyrie Irving put on an amazing heroic performance to save their season by scoring 41 points each, which is now known as the greatest duo performance in finals history. In the final moments of Game 7, LeBron James also recorded his greatest signature chase down block and some say the greatest finals block of all time on Andre Iguodala, one of the few plays that won them the game. LeBron eventually won the Finals MVP for the series, and he finished the series with a shooting percentage of 49.4, a scoring average of 29.7, 8.9 assists, and a total of 11.7 rebounds.
This championship victory is why LeBron James was included in discussions on the best NBA player. James came to Cleveland to bring a championship to the city, and his loss to the Warriors the year before was the driving force to overcome the 3-1 deficit. James had supplementary players Tristan Thompson, Matthew Della Vadova, J.R. Smith, in addition to the All-Stars Kyrie Irving, who made the leading bucket in Game 7, and Kevin Love, who got the final stop on Steph Curry to tie Game 7. NBA Finals matches are thrilling, and no one can assume who will be the champion. The losing teams in one game become the winner in the next one. All teams devoted their full potential to winning the game, making it even more interesting.